Okay, so this is your regular favourite Razer uploader. Today, we're talking about image backups. And you might say, oh, what's an image? An image is the copy of your partition. What we want to be doing is backing up all the partitions. Why do you want to do that? Well, there's several reasons. You could migrate it to a larger drive. But what we're really covering today is not that, but covering your machine. If the hard drive failed or your Windows got corrupted, you'll need an internet connection to download the software, a USB drive, 4 gig plus, doesn't use much, and it doesn't erase the data on there. Another USB hard drive, put your images on. I've got one here that's two terabytes. So let's get the software. It's all free. And you need to be typing in here. Macrium Reflect free. Home use. You can put an email there to register. You don't have to. I know what it's doing. It's just downloading a little pre-installer. Choose edition free, don't need a license key. Where do you want to put it? Run the installer when it's finished downloading. Then you click download. Accept the terms. Obviously you can read them. I'm using it for home. Don't want to register at the moment, or you do. Desktop shortcut. I take off all users. Install. So you never remind me or remind me in or register. So we might for seven days for now. What it's showing you here now is on this top drive your internal hard disk with all the different partitions. This is my two terabyte drive. And we want to image this disk. I've created a folder in there called Blade Images, factory default. This is as, you know, obviously you can change that as like after installing software, etc. Okie dokie. Next. Now it's asking you, do you want to do a create a schedule to do this more often? I'll let you look into that. I just want to create an image. It only copies the sectors or if you like the blocks on the disk that actually have any data on it. So the fact that you've got know, a two terabyte internal SSD, but you're only using a couple hundred gig of it, it'll only be 200 gig. It won't be two terabytes. That's quite handy. It's going to do a whole lot in eight minutes. It's very fast. And the drive I'm backing up to is a standard spinning hard drive. It's not SSD. I don't think this is a like to do. This is a must do. For lots of reasons, including the fact that I was messing around with dual boots and doing all sorts of things and I kind of managed to, let's say, make it not work. So I had to do the factory rebuild, which was fine because I didn't have any data on it because I'm doing all these videos for you guys. And it was actually quite good to run the process to see it work. But then I just thought, well, what would happen if drive had failed? Yes, I know you can build it, install it, put the drivers on, but I've done that with laptops in the past and it doesn't always work. There's always something that says, oh, I don't know what this is. And I just didn't want to go through that pain. It's nice to be able to factory reset it. And I'm pretty certain if you phoned up Razer and said, I've got problems with my laptop, it looks like you've got a factory reset it. And they go, well, I can't because I don't know. I've got rid of it. You're going to get aggro with that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to recover from these images that we're creating. Now after these images are finished, you create a little boot drive and it'll have all the drivers on there, NVMe and all and the SSD, things like that. So you can then actually talk to the devices to recover them too. There we go, it took seven minutes. Next. So you go to other tasks and you create this bootable rescue media. Okay, next. There's the drive as it needs. Look for the Intel USB controllers for the SSD drive. Next, 64 bit, and all the rest. And what it's doing now is it's copying the Windows PE, and that stands for Personal Edition, which isn't like a full operating system. It's just the bit that it needs to get an engine to actually give you menu options and things like that. 
and we're going to create a USB. So I'm going to put it on my image recovery there, look. You don't get a next, which is a bit strange. Click finish. And what it's saying, it should boot it and see if it actually starts up. And that'll be in our next video. Questions, etc. Put them in. Thanks for watching. Bye.